Gather around, hunters, and welcome back to another episode of Starfleet Commando, where I'm Pirates Plus Mod. I am Commodore Turek of the Heavy Cruiser Vengeance, and currently sitting on top of 5,547 prestige. <sighs> Big breath now. Yeah, uh, so we've been looking for a Dreadnought, preferably with a Merv launcher, and, uh, well, it just hasn't been happening. We've been looking, we have not been finding, and we're not really going to invest in something that doesn't have that capability that we want. I mean, we've really noticed on many occasions at this point, that if you can't hurl enough missiles at the target, well, the Lyrans have enough ways of dealing with the number of missiles that you can provide so that they don't really care about uh, six or seven missiles. You've got to flood them. you got to send so many missiles their way that their expanding sphere generator packs it up and quits, runs away crying, and their phaser banks go, what the heck, man, I can only shoot at so, so many things. But anyway... Uh, it's been a couple of days. I'm feeling a little bit rusty, but I'm also feeling pretty good. So let's jump in on things and let's go kick some butt. <sighs> yes. Patrol. It's Monster Patrol. Excellent. Hit the red alert. Less excellent. It's a freighter? What? I said it was a Monster Patrol. We are or to destroy an enemy encountered. We may disengage the dis... What? I'm confused now. We are escorted today by the War Claw, which appears to be some sort of escort destroyer, I'm going to assume. Maybe a light cruiser. It does have four missile launchers and four disruptors. That's a pretty impressive armament for a ship that small. Uh, fleet screen CDM plus, uh, CD plus M. So this is a Merv launcher. Is it? No, that's me. Ah, ha, ha. Never mind, that's me. This is them. CVER. So I'm going to guess escort carrier, the War Song, or War Claw. Squaring off against a heavy cruiser, a freighter, and a light cruiser. But, yep, it's an Andromedan vessel, so that's why it's telling me that it is a monster fight. Because uh, it classifies Andromedan era ships as monsters in this game, since we they couldn't really figure out where else to put them, which makes sense. Uh, heavy cruiser is full-on Orion, and this is full-on Orion. So, this will have fairly powerful phaser arrays. It says it has PPDs. I think it's lying to me. But, uh... Yeah, let's let's go murderize and kill people. Fire that. Yes, we are deliberately somewhat coming in very very slow. Uh, I want to build in some some break with what's going on, and we're gonna wait a little while. And this is gonna set our launchers into a staggered alignment, which I'm not super happy about because I like to have them all online at the exact same time. But uh, I do believe this will be necessary in order to get a good shot in. Wait a little bit longer, a little bit longer, a little bit now. So I'm hoping to eat up his defensive fire and then also a wild weasel, if at all possible. I could have spread it out even more for a more superior version of that, but uh, I'm not going to. And I'm gonna let my uh yep, there it goes. Did he I he's the AI, of course he did. He will have timed it perfectly. Yep. And let's get the waste racks going. This will end him and his life for all time. Like cruisers coming in, so we are going to have to pay attention to him very shortly. This should end the burning claw. I did hear a uh, yep, a scatter pack launching. The sort of ripple pop 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 sound it happens when it's launching all the weapons. And that one's gone. Now to turn towards him. Now he is a kind of a carrier, as you can see. He carries these little tiny, little tiny fighters that look exactly like his much larger fighters. Let's see. And there goes his heavy weaponry. I'm not quite sure what it is. Like, I've never heard of a weapon like that. I've never seen a blue weapon like that. It's certainly not part of the normal game. And I think you're gonna die. Oh, you launched your scatter pack at them. Wow, okay. Uh, so apparently he didn't have any field defensive systems. Yeah, we are kind of ignoring the heavy cruiser. I'm a little bit worried about this guy. Oh, increased speed. More speed, more speed, and we're going to have to take it. This is going to suck. Ouch. So not something you want to have happen, or at least not very often you want it to happen. We should have been paying more attention about that. I'm going to fire this missile at you, and I'm going to pick up even more speed. Now, it does mean that I'm going to have to reveal my, uh, my weak rear side to this light cruiser, but I think he's pretty much handled at this point. I don't think he's going to be that much of a threat, so we should probably turn on to him, but really I want to end this guy. I know, I seem to be vacillating back and forth about what I want to do about it, but I kind of want to kill the Andromeda ship. It's not really dangerous to us, it's not really a major threat, but eh, it's nice to complete things. 
However, we do have all of our weapons about to come online. Um, all B weapons, fire. Eh, didn't work. Or rather, no point. Let's fire the waste at them. See if the waste weapons are going to be enough. I do think we've taken out the last of the enemy fighters. Okay, that was it. So let's go with these two missiles. Hopefully the scatter pack will split the floor. Yeah, there we go. So he managed to shoot it right as it was splitting. Ow. He he has a surprising amount of tractor beams. Should I be surprised? I'm not sure. Oh, he took out the Merv launcher. You uh So the Merv launcher is offline, which is not great. Because it's a considerable source of firepower for us. Yep, and there goes his wild weasel. Allied fighters are getting in close. Unfortunately, they're not really shooting anything useful. Let's target the fighters with all of our phasers if we have any, which we don't. Are you returning to the target? Are you returning? Yeah, they're returning. Okay. So let's see if we can saturate this, uh, saturate this guy's defenses. It's going to take a lot of firepower to do, but I think we can do it. He did recently fire his missile salvo. And he's not going to fly fast enough to get away from this missile salvo. So, the waste launchers. He's grabbing quite a few of them, but a few did, one get, did get through. 24 damage. Wow, we are rusty and it is showing. What is that? Oh, your fighters. Never mind. Still haven't figured out quite why all the uh, all the Mirak fighters are named after dogs when we are quite clearly cat people. But uh, I suppose I shouldn't question it too much, otherwise people might uh, people in higher positions might start being not so happy with me. Why is this captain questioning our dog naming scheme? There we go. Took a lot more damage than we wanted to, but at this point we're kind of rolling in prestige as we wait to try and find our Dreadnought with a Merv launcher. So uh, we'll just pop back and check out to see what the cache has. 364 prestige. Should be no problem. And we took the tile. It's not an important tile, but it is a tile. Shipyard, what do we got? Anything? Come on, click the thing. There we go. And... No. A BTSF... Our, this is a station, so we can't really bring it. Well, we could, but it wouldn't be very useful to us specifically. So we will go in, patch the 88 damage, go back into the reloads, patch up the 126 worth. So we did technically make cash from that, just not a whole lot. It wasn't really a big deal, but uh, we'll spend the 15 for topping off Marines. Let's pop into a black hole. Because why not, right? I mean, black holes are cool. I like black holes. It's an interesting terrain form, which we don't fight over very often. There's only a few of them out there. Hit the red alert. Increase the speed. Is this our friend? Yep, it is our friend, the Jackleg. Which appears to be an Orion or other style pirate ship. Armed with mostly phasers, two plasma torpedoes, and a plasma D for uh, point defense systems. So not bad. And uh, if you look to our starboard, you will see a black hole. So let's try and avoid that. We're also going to pick up a little bit of speed. We're going to go into here because we did not do this in the last battle. And we really should have. Uh, turning the target lock back on. Do we have a target yet? Nope. Nobody out there. There he is. He's a DWL. It's a Lyran frigate. Really? That That's it? Again, not complaining, but, you know, a little funny. So we'll increase the speed of time and set ourselves so we don't get dragged into the black hole. I don't think it affects us this far out, but uh, something you always want to pay attention. Okay, so it's literally just going to be this frigate. Scatter pack is ready to rock. We're not going to use it. In fact, I'm going to see if I can't beat you with beam weapons only, because I would find that to be hilarious. I mean, we only have two pinprick forward phaser ones, so... Oh, wow, you're surprisingly well armed. Missiles! This will either cause him to dump a uh, wow weasel, or he'll take the first salvo, which they sometimes do. Which I'm noticing. Yeah, he took the first, well, half of the first salvo anyway. Okay. So let's, uh, well, yeah, about 19 is good. He doesn't have missiles, so we don't have to worry about some defense suddenly flying out. And also gives us a little bit of power for uh, point defense systems. 
we will select the beam weapons. And we'll come in and try to auger a hole in you. Okay, that was our phasers. The V. Don't do that, don't do that. And these. Now I'm kind of expecting at some point... Was that the sound? I wasn't quite listening. Yep, that it is. It is indeed that. Fire the ARAC just to get an additional missile in there. He should have enough point defense systems and tractor beams to pick them all up. So that's one. Beam weapon select. Get in there with the hind claw phasers. We are going to be firing a MERV from kind of close. Oh, got through. Uh, let's make sure we build a little distance in this. And the waste racks. There we go. Now, do you have a second expanding sphere generator? Because now would be a good time to turn it on. He did, but he didn't turn it on. So, that's on him. Not our fault. Well, kind of. Yeah, we did chuck a whole bunch of missiles his way, so yes, technically our fault. But, uh, who's blaming? Probably them. Yeah, they're, they're probably blaming us right now. But we picked up the escape pods, I'm sure. We are good guys like that, right? I think. Maybe. Sometimes. On Tuesdays? Today and Tuesday. Ooh. Then I guess they didn't get picked up. <sighs> Whoops. Well, next time. Next time, uh, we'll be sure to make sure that engagement happens on a Tuesday. Increase the speed. Come over here. We'll automatically start with a Wild Weasel shuttle. Or, not a Wild Weasel, a scatter pack. And no escort this time, so it's just us by our lonesome. Just us, our lonesome, and this giant ion cloud. Very pretty. Lots of lightning activity going on in there. And we do need to set up our shield reinforcement. Very important. Let us not forget. And, uh, yeah. Here we go. Still no target. Let's maximum this time, because why not? It's a light cruiser. A single light cruiser. What does he got? A JGP. So I'm assuming a Jaguar some sort of, like, I don't want to call it a patrol pseudo-fighter frigate? Or, not frigate, but light cruiser. That's what I'm going to assume. One. Two. That was nice timing there. Just sort of flowered and blossomed. Let's increase speed up to our, uh, up to our missile speed. That way we get a second salvo all ready to rock. Although we probably should hang back, let it get some distance from us. That way we can, uh, fire after the wild weasel hits, which it will. Wow, that was pretty accurate disruptor fire, man. Nice shooting. So I think I'm gonna just spit another Merv at him, just to keep them busy with him. So he's now got uh, 12 plus 5, 17 missiles coming in on him. I'm expecting wild weasel at any moment. Yep, there it is. Um... We should be able to launch on that, though. Because this attack ship should go away. Any, if we're oh, we are lucky. Perfectly timed. So, he does not a pseudo-fighter carrier. But he did just activate the, uh... Activate the expanding sphere generator. Which you just saw go off. And he does have a pretty impressive tractor beam system. I'm impressed, anyway. We're going to keep to the edges, make him have to deal with a million miss- Oh crap. These are going to come in right as his phasers come back online. And his expanding sphere generator. Oh, come on. Shouldn't be this much trouble to kill you. Let's see if I can't get in there before my missiles. All weapons select, including the Merv. Pop, pop, pop. Well, it didn't pop, but it did hit, so it hit with full strength anyway. He's gotta be having trouble with power a little bit. Just a little? No, probably not. His other expanding sphere generator is about to come online. Somewhat frustrating form of events, because he will use it. And his phasers. He has a pretty considerable phaser armament. Two, four, six, eight. Eight phaser ones and two phaser threes. That's not inconsiderable. So, twin phaser ones still charging. We gotta get a little bit closer. We're hoping to cause some more damage. I think I'm going to get in really close before I start trying to commit my uh, 
Come on, commit my missiles. I don't want to waste too many of them at this point. So we're gonna get in nice and tight with him. And him with all our phaser threes. And we'll fire the waste. See what he does with that? Well, oh, phasers and tractor rays, most likely. No, he went with the ESG. Okay. Okay, let's turn off. And... Nope, nope, he didn't. Okay, so... All missiles. Let's fire right into his front. Pop. Come on. There you go. So, a good selection coming from there. I was tempted to dump a mine into him, but then, you know, he gave us the opportunity to fire at him. So either his expanding shield generator isn't charging at full power, which is a possibility, or something really fluky happened. So four more missiles, he'll pick up two, and two will get through, I think. Yep, that's perfect right there. We are going to have to flood him with uh, more Merv shots. How many of those we got left? Uh, down to our last two. Pop, pop, pop. You're only going to be there to distract his... able to come around and deal damage to his lowered shields. It's only phase of three fire, but hey, phase of threes can be pretty nice. And the fact that the game now limits you to only being able to fire them within a range of three means that you're doing some amount of damage. Uh, that limitation comes courtesy of Fire Souls mod, not necessarily how the game originally was. Originally you could fire those things, I think, out to a range of ten, but at that point you were dealing, like, no damage at all. But you could do it. And so the AI would fire them at maximum range and they wouldn't have anything for point defense. So they limited it, they brought it down to a range of three is what the maximum you can fire at, so the AI could make use of them more properly. And uh, that's when we got to here. Let's push on a little bit more. Uh, surprise reverse, perfect. Well, mostly perfect. As a drone cruiser, this can be great or be horrible. If they have a whole bunch of uh, plasma Ds, it can be horrible. Uh, looks like Orions or some, or some version of them, they are Camboro. So one of the uh, several syndicates, which are not necessarily affiliated with the Orions. They do, after all, fight all the time. In fact, there's an entire half of this game that we have not played yet, which you just play as the criminal syndicates. Now, one of the reasons I'm not playing as the criminal syndicates is purely because every single criminal syndicate vessel is the exact same ship. Not, not really, but there's no difference between a syndicate ship, a Camboro ship, a Prime Industries ship, a Beast Raider ship. They all look the same. So, not super interesting to me. Whereas when we play this, we all have uh, customized looking ships. Let's see what he's got. Uh, I'm not going to put the scatter back. We're going to need it. They've got some light anti-missile defense systems on this ship, so I am going to go fire you. I'll let you get out a little bit ahead of us. And then the rest of the missiles. So with any luck, that will get through. The point defense system hopefully will only shoot down the uh, deleting phaser, or deleting mervs, as they uh, they only do 1-6 damage, so I don't really care when they die. So Light Cruiser, DW2, CLR, CLR plus. Okay. So this shouldn't be too bad. You're going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt to get through, though. I can tell. Let's slow down. Select the rest of the missile launchers. Three, two, five. Wow, you shot them all down! That is really impressive. We ran one out of ammo, we blew up the other one, but he still managed to shoot down the entire incoming salvo. Those type B racks are nothing to uh, sneer at. He's only got f three phaser ones. He's only got three phaser ones. Out of range to figure out what you've got, but you have two phaser or two A's, A defensive racks. Okay, so we did not manage to kill him. So we're going to have to swoop in again and hit him with uh, all the phasers. See if we can't shock the systems offline. All beam weapons select. Get in nice and tight. And we've shocked a couple of the systems. We'll go with the waste. Nope, he's still got a defensive system on board. Wasn't enough to save him. And now you. All weapons fire. Your defensive system is offline. Excellent. He was still able to take care of some of them because he's triple phaser ones. Still a dangerous, da or not dangerous, but potent defensive system. 
you have a whole ton of phasers, but that's really about it. Let's see if we can't shock a few more systems. Target you with the phaser ones. We're right on top of you, so hopefully we can stop you from... Nope. No, you're going to take care of most of that. And the Merv. Three, two, now. Here we go. This one is going to turn on first. It does have a plasma torpedo, so that is dangerous. Uh, we really shouldn't mess around with that one. So let's come in. We'll swoop in and take care of this guy. One, two, three. Six damage. And the big one. So we're really going to focus on you now because you are going to come online very shortly. Uh, slow down a bit. I would like to fire the Merv first. There we go. On to you. We're not out, are we? <laughs> we're out. We've got one Merv left, one A-Rack left, and then we're on to rebuilding in between missions. I'm going to ignore you for a little while. You took quite a bit of chunk damage. You didn't take nearly as much damage as I would have hoped. I'm going to swoop out a little bit just to buy the missile some time to ready. V-Rack. Fire. Three, two, one. Now! Fire the other missile, and that does him in. And now last, but certainly not least, is you. You're going to get everything we've got beam-wise, because we have no other weapons. Yep, we have run ourselves dry. Once again, the magazines are empty, which is uh, unfortunately very common for this uh, style of ship. So we are going to have to go home. Keep firing all the weapons. What do you got left? He's down to a single missile launcher, a single phaser, and he's patching up his other missile launcher. So hopefully this will do him in. We'll slow down and pretty much stop in front of him. I'll stop right here. I'll open select. There we go. Good job. Managed to take him out with uh, minimal casualties on our side. Which is the best that you can hope for. 300 prestige, not bad. Not the best we've ever gotten, but it was a surprise reversed against an enemy who was not fighting back. Pop, pop, and we made it all the way back home without getting intercepted. Excellent. And as long as we're home, shipyard, uh, there's 9,000 for that BBM. How much if we were to sell the ship? 800. That's not nearly enough. Uh, 3,000 for a battlecruiser heavy, but I don't think... No, it doesn't have a Merv rack. Is there a battlecruiser with a Merv rack? Doesn't look like it. Uh, done with that. Scroll down. Let's see what else we got here. Just not a whole lot. We may end up... We may end up jumping right into a battleship. Because at this point, I don't see what else we would do. Because I'm not I'm not going to buy a ship that doesn't have a Merv. We need the Merv launchers. I mean, you're seeing that right now. Without a Merv launcher, well, they just have enough defensive systems to take care of all of our missiles. With a Merv launcher... That becomes much less clear. We'll do a convoy, or a patrol, because I'm not a huge fan of convoy escort missions. I don't like relying on missions where things have to go really right, and other people, not us, need to do the right thing as well, in order for us to succeed. So, if they have to focus and kill me, at least I can say, hey, it was my fault that I blew up. If they have to blow up a convoy, well, there can be situations where there's literally no way to actually save the convoy because the game decides it wants to be cruel. So let's increase speed. We will set up the first of our scatter packs, and there's our target. A light cruiser, so we do out ton him. What's he got? He's a JGPMF, so similar to the one that we fought before, uh, he will have... He will have two expanding for generators, a... F oh, no, this one is actually a PF launcher. Ooh, scary. Very, very scary. Okay. We're going to want to take care of these PFs, then. I'm hearing that expanding sphere generator kick on. So, he did that thing that the AI sometimes does, 
where they kick on an expanding sphere generator, and then they launch us their uh, their defensive systems. They wow and weasel. So basically, he then immediately ordered the expanding sphere generator to turn off so that he could defend himself using a wild weasel, which, as you can see, was a really bad decision. 86 damage through, beam weapon select, you're dead. These are not the most dangerous PFs. If they were plasma equipped, they would be the most dangerous PFs, but these ones are not those ones. Come here, fire this. We're just going to flood him with as much firepower as we can get our hands on. And just to make things even more complicated on him, we will fire a Merv. And then to make things even more complicated on him, we will fire everything. Now, I think I heard his him spiraling up. Yep, yeah, let's increase speed. Come on, get in there, get in there. Yep, we took it. Excellent. Yep, so we were close enough to be able to run into his uh, expanding sphere generator, force, to, force it to have to deal with our shields. And then, because it dealt with us, the missiles were then able to get through. It's one of the more effective ways of dealing with that, but it also means that you're basically taking a slap to the face because you have to. 298 prestige, we're on top of our own territory, so we are just going to immediately check in here again, because why not? And 3,000 for that battlecruiser, but we don't want that battlecruiser. It must have a Merv. If it does not have a Merv, then the, what was the point? Where did that 20 damage come from? I have no idea. 63. And plus one of the... Oh, plus two of those, actually. Get us back up to full power. Peek out into here. Kick on a mission. Kick on a patrol. Doing the deadly work that we must do. Ready up. Hit the red alert. Oh, it's the one where we uh, beam over stuff because... Or is it? No, it's not. He has nothing to beam in. Um, hailing? Nothing to hail. Okay. So let's, uh, we'll prep a, well, a scatter pack. Because odds are we might need it. Because I'm expecting at least a heavy cruiser. And up to speed. Frigate. Huh. I guess I was expecting much, much more firepower than I actually ended up being there. So we'll wait until we get to our range of 72 and we will start to fire our, uh, all of our weapons. There we go. And we're going to go right in on him. We're just going to try and bully him out. Oh, he's trying to run. Get back here. You're not getting away. And what you going to do? Whew! Didn't, didn't matter. He just sat there and took the fire. Okay, I'll accept that. Oh yeah, we also have to deal with this. Increased time. Really, what will end up happening is after, like, I don't know, five, six turns, this automatically blows itself up. So let's just fly right in. There we go. Mission complete. There was literally nothing on board for us to steal. No free 50 prestige. We probably spent more than 50 prestige on the first missile volley. And 150? Eh. And we took the tile. Okay. Uh, pop back. We're going to do one last check. One last check of the shipyard, because I want something. We have been on this drone cruiser for a while, and I'm starting to get a little concerned that we're going to get out of class in a little bit. Nope. Just nothing. Alright. Missiles. Eight missiles we spent. But we'll have to replenish 24 of them. So that's going to end an episode right there. Just making small, short gains. Doing a little bit of dirty work down in the southern part of their empire. We're not really going for a cut in half this time. We're going for more for a steady, we're going to smush you against the edge of the board. Because we can. And because, well, we're cutting you off from the rest of the Klingon Empire. Which is kind of important for you to have connections with. Uh, after we finish this little cutoff here, we'll probably just head south, crush these four tiles, and then we'll head back north. But anyway, I've been Tarek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave it a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.